Hello Mac Room Mac Chat. So today we're just going to continue for the last like just continue from like the last video we've made the Tego Lizard Care Guide and like we're going to cover the diet and their well-being part. So let's get back in the video. And the first thing we're going to talk about the Tego Lizard in today's video is their diet. I recommend you like feeding some more insects. Uh like probably more than other things because like they provide a lot of protein which can help your tegu lizards to grow and like um you can feed them the tegu lizards such as crickets roaches hornworms and other snails and also like um yeah these four makes up really good diet and then, like in the protein part you're going to have to take you're definitely going to get some small rodents as like this is one of the main diet for tegu lizards and like um, yeah, they might be a bit scary when you bring them home and put that in, like put them in your fridge But like after time most of the people get adopted and like you're good But like it would take some time feeding small rodents and like also like ball egg whites You can feed them when they're juveniles, but like um, when they're larger We'll talk about it later why you shouldn't be feeding them as often like sometimes Raw meat actually I don't recommend you that much, but like it's okay to feed them raw meat because like um it contains a lot of protein and they have kind of a strong stomach but like uh, as you know raw meat is like just simply raw and like there can be a lot of parasites and like may it may cause your tegu lizard to feel unwell if like uh it, it's like the immunity system is not that good so like you have to be aware of that next we got some like fruit and vegetables which you can like basically skip kind of but like maybe some fruits, just a bit, okay, yep. You can feed it some apples, watermelons, banana, and papaya. They will all be some good treats. While blueberries and like raspberries and also strawberries would be some good stuff to, f good fruits to feed your tegu lizard. Next up, vegetables. Actually, I heard like vegetables, you don't have to feed them like too much. Maybe like twice a week and it'll be great. As they're like mainly omnivores and like they eat mainly proteins I think and yeah yeah they mainly eat proteins and like for vegetables you can give them some carrots cucumbers dandelion leaves and also some tomatoes which is like kind of a blue tongue skink and yeah this is like basically the juvenile tegu diet which um uh, yeah I recommend you to like add the calcium powder and with D3 uh, like around two times every week it will help them to like grow larger and like strengthen their bones and yeah so like here i like a, an example of the frozen rodents yeah you can just like basically we'll just like take uh, show you how do you kind of follow them later basically you just like hold a like if you, you can use your hand if you're not scared but like basically uh you take the plastic bag containing the mouse in and then like you put it in some normal water temperature water for like 30 to 60 minutes and then like the rodent will be unfroze and you can feed it to your tegu lizard and now we're going on to the adult tegu diet and like um, it's just similar very similar and so what you can see is change oh yeah we added like some rodents which is like larger ones also like decreasing the number of insects and like also you can feed them some raw seafood that it will like provide some more diversity of the, their diet so it's basically this like similar to the juvenile but like they need more portions and I recommend you to feed them more rodents instead of like too many insects because like it would take a lot of uh, like a lot of insects to fill their stomach up So here is the recommended feeding schedule uh, I found online and like also did some research So for baby tegu lizards like 0 to 6 months You should feed them like every day to like ensure they have like they're eating every day and they're growing every day So yep juveniles 6 days every week like just a day off but like similar you can feed them seven days if you want and as a pre-adult you should feed be feeding them like every other day they just like um, eat less because they're slowly growing up and like they don't need like that much food intake every day um 
Yep. So uh, when they are turning to adult, you should just be feeding them like twice per week, and it will be already good, more than good, as they like they're already. But like you have to feed them larger portions as they're growing up. Maybe like if you're feeding ten mealworms and here no like five mealworms every day, you should be feeding like seven mealworms here. And like here, 10 mealworms and like 20 mealworms, I think. Yep, so like basically that's the feeding schedule. And like here's a p food pyramid, which I found pretty interesting. You should be feeding them like some veggies or like vegetables every once a week. And then like twice some fruits to like let them have some treats. As like sh sugar are high in fruits, so like you don't want to be feeding them too much. And then... Insects and meats you should be feeding like them like almost every day like five days every week as a juvenile Juvenile, okay So you can like just balance it if you're having an adult that take a lizard You can like just feed them like five in a five to one proportion uh, Yeah, you can gut load we'll be talking about insect gut loading a bit slightly later and like now Let's get on to the next slide which is like some tips before feeding tegus so um yeah we recommend you to like having some like variety of food or else like it might to lead leading some like common tegu lizard diseases which we'll be talking later first we recommend you to like gut load your insects before feeding it to your tegu lizard as you know like gut loading insects are like basically you feed you stuff those and nutrition which is like greens or like carrots apples something like that into your crickets or like mealworms and after they're eating it they're filled with those new good nutrition in their body therefore like you're letting your tegu lizard to have good nutrients which is good like here you can see what to feed crickets to gut load them which is basically you can use it on every type of feeder insects Dyke leafy greens, yep, I recommend this. Carrots, oranges, and apples, yep. Others, sometimes I'll maybe reptile food, not really. Like, I don't have them, but like maybe some fish flakes. So, mm -hmm. let's continue. And like the second point is to prepare to throw the mice. You are going to like have to um, prepare early for, you have to like put those mice in the water tap. For like around 30 to 60 minutes before you can actually feed them as they're like iced so yep good luck on that guys you can do it and like just check out some videos on youtube such as how to fall away mice and like they'll be teaching you very detailed yep so that's pretty it and last the variety of food like previously mentioned that's the pyramid you can go back to the slide previously just check it out as it is pretty cool vitamins minerals something like that give it to your insects and after they have good nutrition you feed them to your tegu lizard and that's good next yep this is something which i thought we should be doing it's like some common tegu lizard diet disease tegu lizards are like some large reptiles and like they basically share the some similar diseases to red iguanas which um we have i've chosen like three main diseases your tegu lizard might be having and like i'm showing you like how do you treat them and like what you can do to help them although like these are um, my opinions and like research are not the best because like i'm not a vet or something but like i truly think it can help you so you will just make sure to stay here and like um let's get into the first one skin doesn't fall off this is a, a lot of a huge problem which a lot of tegu lizards are facing so basically what happens is like the tegu lizard for some reason maybe like it's lacking diversity of food or like um having a low humidity in its tank or like enclosure or even like just like itself is not that strong and like not that flexible versatile in its body system and maybe like it's just the skin doesn't fall off so what can you do when you face this situation First off, I recommend you to increase the humidity in around 60 to 80 percent in your um, tegu lizard enclosure, and like just give it a bit more spray. Second thing, after if that even doesn't work, give it a small warm water bath as it can like really help your tegu lizard to like get the skin off. 
and but like be careful like as a lot of people to like I've seen a lot of Tego lizard getting like um they are swimming but like they actually drinking water and like they die because of like they didn't know how to swim so like, be careful of that just a little bit of warm water until it's like shoulder I think just a bit to like let it help it shed the skin off and at last this is the way I think I it will be pretty helpful if you don't really like it's the last resort which is like scraping them off with some cotton buds like you know those cotton buds for like um I don't know um like sometimes you're injured and you can like just your knee is injured you take some alcohol and you just get it on your knee those cotton buds you can like just add some water yep water and just scrape it off and like it works really well and you can see like it takes a lot of time though so um yes yeah, skin doesn't fall off do that and your tig lizard will probably be a lot better however like sometimes if you it doesn't really work like the legs and like its finger the skin still doesn't fall off go consult a vet as they can help you next metabolic bone disease a huge one as you can see like this crested gecko the bone is like kind of curved we all we all don't like also this like an x-ray it's like curved we don't want that to happen right so like what can you do to prevent this disease firstly increase your calcium intake by like simply just putting more calcium powder in your tegu lizards diet or like just increase their calcium intake by like maybe more mealworms superworms or like giving them some spinach wait not spinach i'm not sure Maybe some prawns as like there's a lot of calcium in their shells and like some snails like that will help their development a lot especially their juveniles but like if you're having an adult and they're having like this disease it's a bit harder to fix it so I, what I recommend you to do is go to the vet if it's an adult. Next a UVB uh, yeah UVB will help your tegu lizard to like turn the calcium it's got like from the diet into like helping its bone to grow like just get their bones a bit strengthener but like not curving it bad so like again find a fat at last yep consult a fat just go somewhere near you or like just go search it up and this is like what you basically do to this disease at last internal parasites take your lizards are strong they have a good immune system and like a good digestive system However, if the temperature gets cold and like your tegu lizard doesn't get warm, it will slowly like the parasites inside his tummy will be bursted out. What I will do is like give a stronger heat in the enclosure to like at least give it like if it's winter, if they might not eat that much, so like you have to give a stronger heat to like um, prevent the like the internal parasites love cold and like moisty enclosures. So. Yep, give a stronger heat, maybe just add a more extra light bulb. Next, decrease the humidity the tea in the enclosure as like too much humidity is like going to get your a lot of parasites inside the enclosure. Yep, beware of that and like the parasites will be getting a lot less if you decrease the humidity. At last, I recommend you like um if don't let them to eat like raw meat because like it's the best way for the parasites to get in their body and like um, if you really feed fed them uh, like the raw meat just go offer them some reptile medicine that you can find in the reptile stores or like um, take your tegu lizard to your um, reptile store and like they can have some a method in Chinese is called dou chong which is like um, they take give them some medicine and like drain I don't know and then like um just give them some medicine and they'll be good okay so this is the end of today's video and thank you for watching so much my grooming chats have a great great day and like comment down below on what do you think I can improve thank you for watching guys bye <laughs>